Plus, denying the United States request to boost oil output. This after OPEC and its allies already agreed to increase output by 400,000 barrels per day a month starting this month. I want to bring in United Refining Company Chairman and CEO Gristides and D'Agostino Foods President, Chairman and CEO, and Red Apple Group Chairman and CEO John Katsimatidis. I think he knows a little thing about politics as well. John, it's good to see you. Good morning. Well, thank you for having me this morning. Uh, there's very serious thing, situations going on in our country right now. Uh, we have, uh, it's a matter of national security. We are about to transfer a lot of wealth. We're transferring a lot of wealth because of inflation. We're transferring a lot of wealth because of situation of what's going on in our country, uh, closing down that pipeline uh, from the United States and opening up the pipeline in Russia. That's a, a transfer of wealth. Uh, instead of the United States selling uh, oil or production to the world, it's going to be uh, Russia, OPEC, selling oil production to the world. And uh, even though the prices are down to $65, $67 a barrel uh, right now, uh, it's heading north. Uh, OPEC does not want to raise the amount of uh, production because they'd rather sell uh, an, another uh, 10 million or another amount of, uh, of oil at a higher price. And they're going to be getting $75 a, uh, a barrel, and they may be headed to $80 a barrel. So it's a transfer of wealth from the United States to uh, OPEC countries, uh, to uh, Russia. And on the other side of uh, the world, uh, we're pushing uh, batteries uh, for electric cars. Transfer of wealth. Who makes the batteries? China. Mm -hmm. Transfer of wealth from the United States to China. And uh, China needs lithium for their batteries. Guess what? We just gave them Afghanistan. That's what the lithium is. Yeah. And transfer of wealth. And I think that's and it, it's inflation. Uh, it's costing the, the middle class. It's the rich. It's not the rich that are getting hurt. It's the poor and the middle class in America that are going to be hurt because of inflation. When oil goes up, transportation costs go up. And what happens? Uh, food is going to go up. Inflation. We've had, uh, in our supermarket chains, we have had increased price increases coming for September and October. Yeah. No, inflation. No, I actually agree with you. I want to point out something, too, that you said about when we were talking about OPEC Plus is that, you know, who's profited? Investors. If you look year to date at the best, whether it's an index or a commodity or an ETF, everything that you can invest in, right? The biggest percentage gain for the year, gasoline. 56%, NACAS, 55%, crude oil, 38%. So investors are making money off of this. But to your point, and this is kind of, I think, the troubling issue for the economy, is that the consumer uh, is, is getting hurt. You know, And now you've at least got at least some senior staffers at the U.S. Central Bank talking about inflation. They're saying that we're going to need inflation if you're going to get a jobs boom. Um, and, and I do want to point out also, because this just came up last uh, hour, that, you know, the, the unemployment, that extended unemployment benefit will end in September, we think, unless the Biden administration does but something. Washington, I don't know. But Washington is lying to the consumer. They're saying that we're going to increase taxes on corporations. We're going to increase taxes on the, uh, on the rich. But when you increase taxes on the corporations, guess what those corporations do? They increase their prices and reflect it to the consumer. They reflect it to the people that least can afford to pay. The rich people, they'll pay. The poor people, the middle class people, paying more for their food, more for their gasoline, more for their heating oil. This is a tax on the middle class. This is a tax on the poor. And this is what the American people have to realize. There's an attack on America. There's a transfer of wealth. They're going to take all the money America has, and America has made the last four years, transfer it to China, transfer it to OPEC, transfer it to Russia. I mean, I have tears in my eyes because what's happening in America right now is very, very serious, and the American people have to wake up. And like I say on my radio show, you know what I say? I say, open up the window and yell out. 
we're mad as hell and we're not going to take it anymore <laughs> yeah, because yeah. that's what's happening. No, no, I, I agree. No, and I think, and I think, you know, despite, like I said, what the markets have been doing, I think that you're right, the consumer's reacting. I want to bring in uh, Steve Forbes into this. Steve, go ahead. Uh, John, uh, in terms of uh, oil, is there any hope of the new governor coming in in New York of uh, removing that fracking ban on upstate New York and let upstate New York uh, enjoy some prosperity in the future? Any chance of that? I would hope and so. And if not, are you going to are you going to run against her? <laughs> no, uh, right now I'm having breakfast with her on Saturday morning, Steve. You're welcome to come uh, if you're out in, uh, in the Hamptons. Uh, and uh, uh, I think she's a common West, common sense person, and I'm hoping that uh, she comes up with more common sense solutions for our state. So you're going to run or no? Including fracking. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Well, it, 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 well, fracking, I think, look, the people on the Pennsylvania side of the border are driving Mercedes-Benz. The people uh, are on the New York State side of the border are driving 30-year-old Chevys. So what, what do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm curious to see what happens with the governor's race next year, John. So, Well, it's going to be interesting, but she's going to have a head start of 16 months or 15 months. And... Uh, she, uh, she. I think she's going to have more common sense than not. But let's have. Um, uh, let's see what after my okay. breakfast. I'll talk to you next uh, Saturday. Well, let let us Sunday. know if you don't mind. Mornings with Maria would love to have you back to make any announcements that you wish to make. We're here for you, John. Thank you very much. <laughs> but we, because we, America has to make a comeback, and right now we're behind the curve. Yeah. John Katsimidis. It's always great to talk to you, sir. You, you wear many hats. Thank you, sir. It's good to see you. Thank you.